good to get bucks up. I do this putting up, giving knowledge, that's what's up. This is many moves, yeah. This is how many moves. This is many moves, yeah. This is how many moves. This matching trucks, truck, bro, good to get bucks up. I do this putting up, giving knowledge, that's what's up. Hot shot stay ready to book a load. Man, big salute, big shout out to all of my veterans, all of my subscribers out there, man. I appreciate each and every one of you. Can't go a video without saying it. Man, real quick before I roll off into this content, man, let me tell y'all like this. My little sister is 16 years old. I'm 34. My mom had my little sister six months before I went to the Navy, you know? So, I never really looked at her as like a little sister, you know, too. I always kind of looked at her just like as my little daughter or something in a way, <laughs> you know, from being away from home. But anyway, man, my little sister, she, she annoys me, you know, but I love her. She knows she could get anything out of me, too. Always hitting me up, asking for money. I need $200 so I could start my business. Now she's getting off into learning how to do hair. So she wants to do that now. So she hit me up this morning. Can I get $15 for breakfast for DoorDash? You know, so... Oh man, I just want to let my little sister know that I love her, you know, even though she annoys me, like I told her, but I love her though, you know, at the end of the day, I'd do anything for her, I'd do anything for anybody in my family, you know, so if anyone ever needed anything, that's all I've ever done was help people, some people abused the help that I have given them too. So, I just want to put that out there to you guys. At the end of the day, I love who loves me, and I'd do anything for you if you're willing to do it for me. You know, so, man, let's roll off into this content. Let's talk about this $75,000 surety bond. You know, I've been getting some good questions about uh, the surety bond lately, you know, too. So, let me uh, give you guys a quick little video on... Uh, basically the cost of the surety bond and um i'm gonna give you guys a quick little tip too on how you could potentially uh get the best rate when it comes to getting your seventy-five thousand dollars surety bond so let's just cover what a seventy-five thousand dollars surety bond is basically it's mandated by the fmcsa which is the federal motor carrier safety administration so whenever you guys go get your authority, they're going to require you to have a $75,000 surety bond to get your authority activated. So basically that bond is just to, it's, it's a form of insurance. So it's going to give the, uh, the shipper or the actual carrier uh, some type of protection, you know, when it comes to the actual freight broker, if they are uh, reluctant when it comes to paying, you know, their actual carrier. So if the freight broker does not pay the carrier, the carrier can file a claim against that actual uh, freight broker surety bond to receive payment. So like I say, it's just a form of payment mandated and required by the FMCSA, right? So to get that bond, that bond is based off of your credit score and your experience in the industry too. So <clears throat> I'll give you guys a range because I've been getting this a lot. You know, how much does it cost to get a surety bond? Because the surety bond can be pretty cheap for some of you guys out there and it could be very expensive for some of you guys out there. And this fee is just a one-time fee annually. So it's a, well, I don't want to say a one-time fee, it's an annual fee. So anyway, let's talk about credit score. So from my experience and the people that I've been talking to on getting quotes, 
you know, and then based off of my experience, I could tell you guys, if you guys have under a 600, when we're talking about a credit score, you're looking to pay anywhere from about seven to $10,000. Had to get some of that H2O in me. So, you're looking at to pay about seven to ten thousand dollars if your credit score is under six hundred. If your credit score is about six hundred to about seven hundred, you're looking to pay about I'll say about thirty-five, twenty-five hundred to about five thousand dollars. Seem, seems like that. Anywhere from about three to about six thousand. Let's say that six hundred to about a seven hundred uh, credit score. And anything over seven hundred, you guys should be paying about, uh, I say about fifteen hundred to about three thousand. But you shouldn't be paying about, you shouldn't be paying three thousand, I don't feel. Because when I first got my surety bond, my credit score was about 710. And my surety bond is 1600, you know, annually. So, yeah, let me kind of run back them numbers real quick. So, if your credit score is about a 700 or more, you should be paying about 1500 eh, to about $3,000. If your credit score is about six to a 700, you should be paying three thousand to about six thousand dollars, and then we'll say if your credit score is six hundred and below, you're looking anywhere from about six to seven thousand up to ten thousand. I think about ten thousand might be about the max, you know, on how much you have to pay. <laughs> so a way that you guys out there could maybe get a cheaper surety bond too if you have bad credit is to get you a business partner right make sure you and your business partner is on that llc together and whoever has the best credit that's who is going to get that surety bond so whenever you apply for that surety bond the bu the business partner with the best credit is going to apply for that bond because they just need to run one person's credit in the business. And that's the way that you guys could get the best rate, you know? So go with the best person uh, who has the, I mean, go with the person who has the best credit too. So I know some of you guys out there right now, some of you, uh, I talked to a gentleman the other day ago, he said this quote came back at like 7,200. So he said at the moment, <clears throat> he can't go out and get that surety bond. So what I thought about is, hey, if you can't get that surety bond right now based off your credit score, just add on a bit, get you a business partner and then have that business partner get, you know, that surety bond for you. So your business partner, this could be a 50-50 partnership or this might be something you just, you know, bring somebody in to accomplish this goal for you. And you just pay them, you know, whatever type of incentives that they will want. But this is just a method for you guys out there. But remember, you only have to pay that payment one time, too, you know, for that year. So it's still not bad. Even if you guys have to pay $10,000, break that down, 10 divided by 12. When you're brokering out freight, your overhead is very low anyway during the month you're paying for transportation management systems and you're paying for your load board access maybe some office type of equipment but outside of that freight broker in the overhead is very low compared to trucking so if you did still break <coughs> that down uh ten thousand dollars over 12 months even though you do have to pay it you know all up front but i'm just saying mentally breaking it down the overhead is not that expensive of course you know per month for the money that you guys could be making out there so i just want to put this out there to you guys man so like i said um just <clears throat> think about your credit score right now for the most part 
Um, if you haven't ran your credit in a while, you guys can get free credit reports annually on uh, annualcreditreport.com, I believe. Run your credit, get your credit score, see where you stand so you can know how much you might need to put back, you know, to get your surety bond. And also, like I said, if you want to get the best quote to find you a good business partner with some good credit, bring them into your business and uh, make them 50-50 partners or compensate them however you see best fit. De not December, I was about to say December. We are already in December, huh, in my mind. April 10th, I got a live freight dispatcher training webinar coming up. Text 317-953-8943 for the coupon code if you guys would like 50% off on that teaching you guys some good game over starting your independent dispatching company and for you owner operators out there who want to dispatch yourself you know that's what i'll be teaching i'll be teaching you guys how to get on the load board how to call freight brokers how to negotiate with those freight brokers how to fill out carrier packets how to uh receive that rate confirmation and go ahead and dispatch out your driver how to invoice your driver how to get paid and also how to add on some additional services to your dispatching company so you can always uh, increase your price because you're adding on you know an additional service to help out the carrier and um, man just sharing some good information with you guys man out there so if you have any questions hit me on my email sales at extraordinarymovement.com go visit my website www.extraordinarymovement.com go get your 30 day free trial with DAT go sign up with TAVS Trans and Financial Services if you guys are looking for a factoring service out here everything is in the description box below all of the links CEO commit execute and be obsessed everybody be great out there